Moffat A and welcome to KWAM News Extra. I'm Sonia Artero. In the hustle and bustle of our hectic lives, we often forget to stop and smell the roses, so to speak. And if you live on Guam and don't take the time to savor our beautiful sunrises and sunsets, then you are really missing out. To ensure we don't miss out on capturing all that is beautiful on Guam and what Guam has to offer, the Guam Council of the Arts and Humanities Agency is pleased to support the book signing to promote the pictorial inspirations of Guam. The special publication highlights the beauty of Guam via the island's people and its lush flora. Here to talk about the official unveiling of the pictorial and book signing event is the photographer himself, Stephen Zhao, along with Caja's executive director, Sylvia Flores. Thank you both for coming on. Thank you, son. And I did want to encourage our, our viewers to um, appreciate some of the video that we'll be showing you tonight on Stephen Zhao's uh, photographs here on Guam as well. So we'll be showing that here and there while we're interviewing him and, and Sylvia, of course. Now, starting off, first off, Stephen, if you wouldn't mind, tell us some of your highlights of you getting involved in this particular art form. Mm. So, <coughs> I, I really like uh, 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 photography. Uh, that was my hobby before. Okay. When uh, I came here, uh, I got big surprise. It's very, very beautiful island. That's why uh, I still, when uh, I, I work uh, uh, architects before, uh, I, I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna uh, take mm, a lot of pictures uh, to uh, to be very good memory, but. Last year, I did an uh, exhibition uh, in uh, Kaha Gallery. So a lot of friends uh, pushed me, oh, Stephen, uh, make a book. Uh, so tell anybody, show anybody, uh, this is beautiful island. So sometimes I, I went back to China. Uh, I just tell people I uh, stay Guam, but they does not know. Even some uh, country else, uh, so, uh, this book I'm gonna show to anybody uh, what uh, where is uh, Guam, so how it looks like. Uh, it's very beautiful island, uh, very nice people. So that's I want. Now, Sylvia, tell us how you met him to begin with, and how you actually helped him along to accomplish his his dream and his goal. Well, um, you know, Steve and I have known each other for the last six years. He was an interior designer, and uh, uh, we worked together at Genghis Khan. I met him through Genghis Khan. And, uh, you know, when he came in and he brought his uh, photos, I said, continue and do an exhibit. So what he did was he, he started shooting and he did an exhibit. And then he came back again and he said, I am ready for a book. And I went, oh my God, I mean, you know, it needs, when you're doing a book, when you're publishing a book, it needs a lot of capital. It's not something that you just say you want to do a book and you go out and publish it and print it. So what I did was I went out and I solicited the support of the community. Um, I, have, I was able to get sponsorship, uh, really sincere sponsorship. There are many of them that said, I have never sponsored a book like this, but because you're doing it and you're doing it for the community, we know that it's going to be a worthy cause and, and it's going to benefit the community. And tell us, what is, in your mind, the end result of Inspirations of Guam? I think the end result is I have never seen a book of this magnitude in Guam. I have seen books published, but um, it's just... Um, Steve was telling me that he would show it to people, local people, and they said, this book just brings chills to my spine because what happens here is that you really, we take uh, the, uh, our island for granted. We never stop and we never look at the sunset and the sunrise. And when Stephen was taking these photos, he was telling me that he'll be out at Mangilao, Thousand Steps, at four in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning, and they said, you know, that area there is dangerous to be out there by yourself. But he was inspired that much to be able to go and, and work on this book, and I, I can't believe that we did it. I mean, it was so easy because of his work. I think because of Steve's background, being an architect, an interior designer, a cat designer, 
everything is so natural. It is not something that we were struggling with. The thing that we were struggling with was financing. But we were able to do it. We were hoping we'll meet the deadline of the holiday season. But it just arrived. It was just delivered this morning, the cases of books. So now we're ready to move forward and market the book. I mean, he, Stephen has already sold 100 copies wow. on his own. Yes. Okay. Well, Stephen, if you wouldn't mind, could you explain how you came up with the title, Inspirations of Guam? Uh, you know, uh, every artist, uh, if uh, uh, doing the painting, uh, uh, capture, anything, uh, need a uh, very special uh, feeling, uh, imagination. So uh, inspiration is more important. So I, 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 when I come here, I got a big surprise. Uh, the surprise gave me uh, inspiration. So I just make the name Inspirations of Guam. Also, the, another name, where American Days Begins. Yeah. I got the words from uh, our driver's license. Yes. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, good to know. Um, well, it's beautiful, it's fantastic. I hope our viewers are able to appreciate some of the pictures that we're showing them. Don't go away as we continue our interview and learn more about Stephen Zhao and exactly what inspires him. Stay with us.